guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby, if you are new here, and I'm a homeschooling mom to four. Every now and then, I like to do a Friday flip through, and it's been a long time since I've done a flip through of a curriculum. This is a new to us curriculum. We are using Apologia General Science for the first time this year. My oldest is in seventh grade, and so she is moving on to their more independent science textbooks, which, uh, like I said, it's Apologia Exploring Creation with General Science. So I'm gonna do a flip through of the textbook, the student notebook, as well as the test and answers key. And then I also want to do an unboxing because this year, and I'll explain my reasoning behind it, I bought the pre-prepped and ready experiment kit and materials. Is that what it's called? The materials kit. Um, and that is from Nature's Workshop Plus. I bought it through Rainbow Resource and that has everything for all the experiments throughout the modules prepped, measured out, ready to go. So I really wanted to use that this year for her and I wanted to unbox that for you guys so that if you guys were considering making that investment, because it is a hefty investment, it cost more than the curriculum itself did, um, I wanted you guys to see everything that's in it and you can make the decision for yourself if it's valuable or not. So this is not our first year using Apologia. I believe I have another video showing a flip through of their elementary series, which we've loved for years um, and used every year since she was in kindergarten. Uh, we're just moving on up to their more middle grade and upper grade uh, curriculum. So it's new to us and I'm excited to share. So uh, here we go, I'm gonna flip you around, show you a flip through, and then I will show you the unboxing as well. Okay, so I have the textbook here, the student notebook, and then also the test and answers key. I'm gonna start by showing you the textbook. Now, this is the third edition, which was printed in March of 2021, so at the time that I'm filming it, this is the newest edition. And um, this is designed to be the first independent science course, or the first mid-grade science course that your students will use. So if you've been using Apologia before middle school, you would have used their, I think it's called the Young Explorers series. Uh, we used it for K through sixth, and it included topics like zoology, astronomy, botany, immersive year long courses, marine biology. So they would spend the whole year on one topic. And this one is designed to go and hit a bunch of different topics. So this um, general science, and I'll show you here, has 14 chapters and it um, you spend two to two and a half weeks per chapter. It should take about 33 weeks if you do about 45 minutes a day, four days a week. And this covers topics such as the history of science and the search for truth. Now, Apologia is a Christian company. It's apologetics-based science, by the way. Um, we have used them from the beginning. I have nothing else to compare them to other than nature study, which have we've worked hand in hand doing nature study and apologia over the last seven years so the scientific inquiry and the scientific method documenting and interpreting experimental results and scientific analysis and history so the first four modules which are going to take you at least eight weeks are all just setting up scientific method how to do experiments all that so this is a really great introduction to independent science for years then you start with different topics. So you have module five is earth science and astronomy. Module six is earth science, geology and paleontology. Module seven, earth science, meteorology and oceanography. Module eight is general chemistry. Nine is general physics. Then there's life science and general biology. And I think there's a lot more biology. I think the next one up from general science is the biology. I can't remember what the um, science is that we'll be using next year. Uh, marine science, environmental science, and science and creation. You have a welcome here. And then here you are at module one. So some text here. Bella's been doing this independently, which has been great. There's these what to do sections, which I showed, I think I showed it to you briefly, but uh, the instruction icons during the first few modules, you'll come across this what to do instruction, instructional icon. It contains information that will take you in a step-by-step -step manner through how to complete lab reports, your study guide, your tests, and more. For this course, you'll be instructed to take the module one and module two, two tests as open book tests 
This way you'll better understand how this course and the rest of Apology is upper level courses work. So that walks you through how to do it. So it's really great for a first time independent work. Like it walks you through the whole process, including like, here's what you do and how to do it. So I really appreciate that for her just being totally independent. So what to do before you begin any experiment, you should read all the instructions to make sure you have the materials needed and understand what you'll be doing. So they actually had her read through this entire thing before she actually did the experiment, which the experiment she's gonna do today, which is why I'm filming this today, because I wanted to get into the box of uh, experiment stuff that I bought. So uh, I wanted to do that before she did this, but she's already read through this whole thing. Then you've got what to do, creating a formal lab report, explore more. So then here's experiment 1.2 is a chemical reaction or more and on your own I love that there's a lot of illustrations and images in here for them so that is the end of module one and then it instructs you how to take the exam study guide okay then here's module two so same thing, scientific inquiry and the scientific method, couple of experiments, what to do. These are pretty lengthy, but they're not exhausting to read. It seems, it seems like it moves around kind of well, little different sections here and there. So I'm gonna kind of flip through, instead of one of the beginning science modules, let me flip through, here's the astronomy one. get back to the beginning of module five. Okay, earth science, astronomy. So there's some vocab. Explore more. An experiment, making a sundial. Telescopes, wavelengths. couple of on your own things, explore more, an experiment on friction, some graphs and charts, answers to the on your own questions, study guide, and then you are to take the test. And then it moves on to the next module. So I wanted to give you a peek inside the textbook and then the thing that uh, complements this very well that I couldn't imagine, and I don't know if you really could do the subject or the um, curriculum without is the notebook. So one thing I've always loved about the Apologia notebooking journals is that they give you a calendar inside of the notebooking journal for doing the notebook and the textbook. Now with my younger kids, I stopped using the notebooking journals about halfway through because we just didn't have time to complete them all, but I will be using them for the middle and high school level science. So this is really helpful. It has an experiment grading rubric, recording grades, exams, grade recording chart, and then this, which is so great. So this is the uh, calendar that I told you about. So if you're following their suggestion of four lessons a week, um, then this is perfect. And now she has this in here, and then she also just copies this right into her planner as backup. So she has two locations for this information. And so as you'll see, it has like module one, module two, module three, and then it has you go, how, does this one have 33 weeks? Yeah, this is the 33 week plan, but there's wiggle room because a lot of homeschoolers do 36 week school years like a traditional school year. Uh, I'm gonna skip past this because she's already worked through this and I wanna keep her work private. So I'll go, I'll go to the, the, that astronomy module 
module five. Let me see if I can find the start of it here. All right. So astronomy, note taking, you should be getting the hang of taking notes by now. I love that it just guides them through this totally. So it's, I really appreciate that as the parent. So even still module five, which you're like 10, 11 weeks in at this point, it's still explaining like, you should be getting the hang of taking notes by now. Keep adding details, da da da. Uh, draw pictures, create a graphic organizer, make a table of facts. I just think that's so helpful. So week nine, day three, read the text, check off the tasks on this list as you complete them, take notes, investigate, check off this day on your schedule. So it always tells you to go back to the beginning and check off the day on your schedule. Um, so you've got vocabulary section here, explore more section, um, tools to study the heavens, telescopes, questions and answers for your notes, wavelengths of light. You guys saw that in the textbook. Now you're seeing it here in the notebook. Uh, here's the on your own questions that were listed in the book. Um, sun facts, bright and colorful, still important when you're 12. <laughs> um, some more note taking sections. vocabulary, th more of those on your own, moon facts, did you know, thoughts, comments, questions, explore more, have someone take pictures of you with the sunlight or lamp light on your moon at different phases and paste the pictures here identifying each phase. So um, she loves getting glue and scissors out still, <laughs> which was so fun. She made a big timeline that she glued together in the beginning of this notebook and I appreciated that it felt familiar uh, if you've used the junior notebooking journals or the notebooking journals for the young explorers series then um, this doesn't seem too far off from that just more advanced obviously uh, tides notes on your own questions I skipped a page So they're lengthy. This is why it takes 45 minutes a day. It's really in depth. And a creation connection at the end of each week. So write down any thoughts or questions that may be sparked after reading this section. Then study guide. And then you're on to the next section. So there's that. I'll also show you the test and the answer booklet here. Now we've never really ever, ever done tests. We do Charlotte Mason style exams, but the reason that we will be loosely using this is because I will make sure she's keeping up with her work, but I am not reading through her whole um, textbook. I'm not checking every single day's worth of work as she's doing it. And so this is gonna be the best way to give me a gauge on where she's at. And then I will use these uh, to help me write my Charlotte Mason style exams for her. So um, I'm going to try to bring this up closer so you can see they're very short. So the first two are open book tests. So actually I'm going to flip through to the module five one again, since we've been talking about that one. So, and they have perforated edges, so you can just pull them out. So here's the module five test. Got some fill in the blanks, some multiple choice, 10 questions, that's it. And then over here, you've got the answers, the solutions, uh, and if there are, uh, a couple of them had more in-depth answers, and so it gave you like the lengthy answer. So yeah, here's the answer guide for module five, very short. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a flip through of those. And now I will show you uh, my favorite thing that I, my favorite resource that I bought for this curriculum, which I got the experiment materials and supplies. And that has already saved me a headache. So let me get that and show you. Okay, so this I got from Rainbow Resource, but it's from Nature's Workshop Plus, which you guys know from my 
homeschool convention hall. I really enjoyed nature's workshop plus booth. So this is not from Apologia, but is, it is the lab set for Apologia's Exploring Creation with General Science, third edition. I think that's probably really important that it's the correct edition, uh, but I, I don't have any of the other editions, so I can't tell you for sure. But this is an absolute game changer, especially for, let me, um, experiment heavy curriculum like Apologia that tends to have lots of little stops throughout um, each chapter. Even the younger grades are like that. Like every couple pages, there's like a try this or try that. And most often I don't have all the materials handy and so I don't. So I went ahead and sprung for this. It was around somewhere between $100 and $150 and uh, probably not the actual value of the items in here, but time-wise, probably <laughs> for me. Uh, and like I need three ping pong balls for one thing, and maybe if I had to buy them on my own, I could only buy 10. So I don't know, in the long term, I probably did save some money, but mostly it's nice and organized for Isabella, saves my sanity. Uh, it comes with a list of things you have to provide for each, each module, um, but those are pretty much things like a raw egg or spinach, so things that they can't pack in here. And then here's everything that uh, it does come with, uh, and it has it listed on here. And then you have, oh, hold on, that's my personal information there. Okay. And then you have that somebody checked it, like double checked each bag. So this whole thing was packed and checked by Angie, I think. Every single one of these say Angie on it. Um, so let me find the module one bag. And here, Isabella and I just pulled it out recently to get ready for her. Yep, here it is. Okay, so here's module one. And it comes with everything she needs for her first uh, couple of experiments. So I think there were three little experiments in module one. She needs things like popcorn kernels, a little paper plate. Uh, so that's perfect because we don't have popcorn kernels in our pantry right now. We rarely have paper plates in our house. It even has the jar. It has the couple of um, ping pong balls that she needs. It's got a, a dropper pipette. It even has, is that a paper towel in there? So it has everything she needs. Table salt. And then what I really like about this is that it tells you, and I already showed her how to do this and how I expect her to do this. Um, and I'm gonna be doing these experiments with her quite a bit, but there are some days like now where she just wants to do the experiment because it's the right day in the book and I have time set aside on Fridays to do them with her. Um, so but since she wants to do it today, I'm gonna let her do it on her own. Obviously she's so excited, so I don't wanna slow her down. I just don't have time to help her today. So um, it says down here, save the dropper pipette for module number two and the clear jar for number seven and 10. So she knows that when she's done with it, she's going to immediately find module number two's bag and she's going to put the pipette right into it, which where is that? It's number three. Well, I'll find it in a second. And then same for the clear jar. If it says to save for seven and 10, then she needs to take the jar and put it right into bag seven and then just uh, put it in 10 when she's done with seven. So here's the stuff for module one. Let's see measuring cups. I don't know which one that's supposed to go for. Maybe all of them. Um, let's see. Let's find number two. Five. Oh, here are some uh, tablespoons as, or teaspoons as well. Let's see. Let's see. Probably one of these bigger guys down here. Seven. Oh, here we go. Module two and four. I wonder why they put those together. Okay. So 
so okay see like a small thing of dish soap it literally has like every single thing you need a few paper clips so if you don't happen to have paper clips on hand then you don't have to go out and buy you know three paper clips for the experiment which is the reason i wanted to do this because i was looking at some of the uh some of the modules ahead of time and i was like man i don't really have like a single balloon in my house so i'll have to buy oh here's a balloon by the way i'll have to go buy like a whole pack of certain things and so i knew that this was just going to be very valuable and i really didn't want to be the reason that i slowed bella down on her independent science so uh here is module three and then i showed you four already here's number five Wow, it even has like the ruler and a sharpie and a piece of chalk, which is super convenient. Um, let's see if we can find number six. Well, here's seven. And again, scissors, tape, a balloon, a straw. So super convenient. Still looking for six though, because I like to go in order. Oh, here's six. Wow. Huh. That's a lot of stuff in there, including, is that dirt? Yep, so we've got some dirt. <laughs> some sand, goggles. I love it. Um, I already showed you seven, right? Here's eight. Let's take a look at what's inside module nine. We've got a piece of cardboard and then a piece of wood, electrical tape, a clothespin, some batteries, a rubber band, a clip, some piece of metal, I'm not sure, some kind of wire, a thumbtack, an eraser, like a little butterfly eraser, a small light bulb. Yeah, see guys, that would be really frustrating for me to try to assemble in like a couple days time, which is usually, I'm only just a couple of days ahead, typically, about nine. And then you've got like 10, which is tiny in comparison to that one. Toothpicks, pipe cleaner, 11 couple empty water bottles, not sure what's in here, I guess we need a lot of balloons this year, um, 11, there's 12, cooking oil, graham crackers, pudding, that's funny, 13, even has a scale in it. Bella noticed that already. She already pulled this one out. Looks like some beans, some dried beans. It even had the calculator. And then this is 14. That's a lot. It's a big one there. Oh, a little like a Hot Wheels. And then wax paper and a timer. So that is everything we need for the experiments except for those few things like a few pennies and the, um, the perishable food items that we would need for any of these. So I wanted to show you guys what this looked like and I definitely think it was worth the cost just for my sanity's sake because this is a lot of little stuff to pull together. Uh, every single week. So I just appreciate that these kits are available and I'm pretty happy that I made the investment in them. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. 
Just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by or endorsed by Apologia or Rainbow Resource whatsoever. I bought all this on my own uh, and just wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like flip throughs, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other requests for flip throughs, leave those in the comments down below. Happy Friday, have a good weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye guys.